Oh yeah, that's right. The sun never sets on cool. Hello, middle school, and welcome back to Bearcat TV. The new show specifically designed to help keep you firmly in the know. My name is Mr. Blake, and let me be your dance instructor as we waltz through this week's breaking news. Today is Monday, February 22nd, and on this week's Bearcat TV hit list, we have need to know updates and reminders, tech tips for distance learning, and another round of report card, I guess who? Let's dive right in. I'm diving in now. If you have applied for the English honors courses and meet the honors criteria, you should have received an invitation to an honors Google Classroom last week. This is where students can find all the information they need to know about the honors tests, including the Zoom links. The English honors placement tests that are taking place this week are the grade six to grade seven placement test is today from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. The grade seven to grade eight placement tests, this is tomorrow from 2.45 to 3.45 p.m. Now, it's time for something completely different. Don't forget that on Wednesday, we will be holding our first ever virtual sports day. All students should have selected their activities for this action-packed event already. In today's advisory session, your advisor will remind you of the schedule for the day, and they will also share the middle school office Temple of Zoom link in case you get lost or have any issues accessing the various sports day Zoom rooms. And as if you needed reminding, this week is a super short week because there is no school for students on Thursday and Friday. Yeah! That's right, Bearcats. We have a super long weekend because of EDSA Revolution Day. Let's head over to Miss Nicole from the middle school office to learn more about this pivotal day in the Philippines. The EDSA People Power Revolution took place 35 years ago in 1986. This revolution gathered millions of Filipinos from all walks of life to march along EDSA in support of rebel soldiers led by Fidel Ramos and Juan Ponce Enrile. Collectively, they risked their lives to make a stand against the presidency of Ferdinand E. Marcos and herald a new era of change. Dissatisfaction with the government had been brewing since 1983 when Senator Benigno Ninoy Aquino Jr. was assassinated upon his return to Manila. Things came to a political head between February 22nd and February 25th, 1986, when Filipinos across the country staged four days of non-violent demonstrations. The people claimed to be frustrated by the alleged fraudulent results of a recent presidential election and the repercussions of martial law. Millions of people gathered their courage to peacefully raise their voices and by the end of the day on February 25, 1986, had successfully toppled the government. At the end of the revolution, Corazon Aquino, the widow of Ninoy Aquino Jr., was proclaimed the first female president of the Philippines. This is a period of history where Filipinos were deeply divided, and this is reflected in the way in which the EDSA People Power Revolution is remembered on February 25th. Back to you, Mr. Blake. Thank you, Miss Nicole. Next up, we have a new segment designed to help students navigate tech-related issues. Much like the advice I gave John Connor to help stop that startup Skynet and the robot uprising. Let's go over to the one and only Mr. Patrick Phillips for our premier quick tech tip. Sorry, it's DJ. Hi, and welcome to Burkhart Tech Tips. This week, we're gonna look at tab groups inside Chrome. Let's delve right in. If you're like me, you've got many tabs open. So straight away, I'm gonna to go to first tab I've got here that I want to organize because 
I've got lots of science tabs open. I want to organize them into a science group. So I'm going to right click on this tab and it says to me, add tab to a new group. I will click yes and I'll give this a name. So I'm going to call this science and I'm going to give it color blue. So automatically that has put it into a group that's called science. You can see it labeled here. I'm going to drag it to the start so I know that it's over here. So I'll go to my next tab that I want to put into the science group. I've got brain pop open here and just inside the science section of it, I want to add this to my group. So I'll right click again. I will say to it, add tab to group and it now lists my science one. Or if it was a new group, you would click here. So I want to add it to science. It will automatically jump it right into here. As so you can see now, I've nearly finished organizing all my tabs into groups. I just click on them, minimize it in. I've left these two outside of a group because I always click on them. And then these are my different classes or different groups that I want to organize my tabs to. So that's a quick way of using Chrome's uh, group enough tabs to try and help you organize your tools and websites. Thank you. Sorry, it's DJ. Thank you from the one and only Mr. Phillips. We hope that these tips will help to foster effective self-management skills while also minimizing tech-related distractions. What was that? I think I might need to use that tip to get my life back on track. With the semester one reports going live in Power School on Wednesday, uh, February 24th, it can mean only one thing. Reports! <laughs> That's right, everyone. It's time for more report card against a who. Was I supposed to enunciate that uh, question mark? Oh, yeah? Let's see if you can guess what the tired and exhausted educators from many, many moons ago wrote about your teachers on their middle school report cards. Are you ready? Okay. Blankety blank blank is able to grasp tasks well. However, they prefer not to put maximum effort in it, into anything they do. Listening and review are correctly identified areas where improvements would pay considerable dividends. Are we bankers? <laughs> Blankety blank blank blanky would do better if she sat alone and did her math rather than in a group of loquacious girls. Ooh, loquacious? That's not even a real word. Somebody, some, some, somebody has difficulty controlling paint. <laughs> do you have a teacher in mind? Are you ready for the big reveal? This week's report card, I guess who, comments belong to Mr. Glog, grade seven science teacher, I think. He may have needed to take a bit more care. Mrs. Peekin, the middle school assistant principal. Something about licorice with friends. And Mr. Mills, French slash Spanish teacher, who still can't control paint. Well, that's a wrap for this week. Tune in next week for more Big Hat TV updates. And always remember, be here, be you, belong, Bearcats. Enjoy the long weekend, and as always, stay classy, middle school.